Hey guys, I'm Nick from Micro Center. So you have ESET 4 on your computer, and you want to get ESET 6, which is the newest version, and you want to know how to update your software. What we're going to show you today is how to do that, how to go from ESET 4 to ESET 6. This is both for NOD32 and for Smart Security. Um, they look a little different, but the same process is for both. Um, so we have, if you have ESET 5 or you don't have ESET at all, we have two videos showing you how to do each, how to get ESET 5 on your computer and how to just install ESET if you have nothing else on there. Uh, but this is for people who have ESET Smart Security or ESET NOT32 version 4 and want to go to version 6. So what we're going to show you is how to do that, so let's get started. Alright, so we're at our desktop here. Let's go ahead and take a look at ESET and see if we actually have ESET 4. So we've already opened up ESET and it says ESET Smart Security 4. If you had 932, it would say ESET 932 4. So we have version 4 and version 6 is out. ESET Smart Security 6, we want to get that on there. So we're going to have to uninstall ESET 4 to go to ESET 6. If you have version 5, you can just go download the latest version of ESET 6 and it'll just replace it. If you have version 4 and never actually upgraded to version 5, you'll want to you'll actually have to uninstall 4 in order to get to 5. So we'll go ahead and close ESET out. And quickest way to control panel so we can uninstall our software is hold the Windows key down, tap the letter X, give us a list of programs and files and whatnot here, go to control panel, and over here you will see programs and features right there. We'll click on that. This will give you a list of everything installed on the computer. And we want to look for ESET Smart Security. So it's right there, we'll click change, and we'll click next and with the option to repair or remove. Now you can use the repair tool if it's not working. If ESET's giving you error, since that you can try to repair the program, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on remove and it's gonna ask you why. We'll just choose one of the options here and we'll click next. And then we'll hit remove and it'll go through the process of removing it from your computer, uninstalling it, that kind of thing. You'll get a pop-up here, usually on Windows, saying your virus protection has been turned off. That's only sent it because we are currently removing the virus protection right now. Not a huge deal if you see that while you're doing this. Don't even worry about it. All right, so ESET is off the computer. It's going to ask us to restart here. You must start your system for the configuration changes made to ESET Smart Security take effect, yada, yada, yada. We'll click yes to restart, and when we come back, we will go through and install the latest version of ESET 6. So we'll see you guys in just a minute here. All right, so we have uninstalled ESET 4, and we put the disk in for ESET Smart Security 6, and we clicked run. And it's showing us this screen here, which is the end user license agreement. So we're going to click I accept on that. So we're going to accept the agreements. And yes, we're going to participate in the ESET uh, Live Grid Network. And on this next screen here, we want to enable detection of potentially unwanted applications and click Next. And now it's going to actually install ESET Smart Security 6, or if you have NOT32, ESET NOT32 6 onto your computer. This take a couple of minutes to let this run, and we'll come back in a minute when it's finished and continue on from there. All right, so the installation is complete. We have installed ESET Smart Security 6 on our computer. So we're going to click Finish right here, and it's going to pop up with asking us to choose our network. This is a home network or a public network or a work network. Um, since we're at work, we're going to choose work network. Um, this is just ESET Smart Security's um, extra protection that you would get. Um, you will not see this window with NOD32. So we'll click Work Network since that's where we're at. And then it's going to ask us to activate ESET at this point. So if you have ESET already um, in your email, you should have gotten a username and a password. Um, so what you're going to want to do is find that username and password, and you're going to want to type that into activate using a username and password. Now if you're watching this video and you've never activated ESET before, you can just use the activation key located inside the folder where the disk is for ESET. So we're going to activate using a username and password. I'm going to pull up mine here. You won't be able to see them just for licensing um, purposes. So activate using a username and password and we'll click next. I'm going to pull up mine real quick and I'm just going to copy and paste them over. And we will activate that. And so activate, it may take a minute or two, and relatively quickly, activation is complete. We can click finish down here, and that's pretty much it for activating ESET. 
Um, smart security, you'll see this window pop up as well. This is just an ESET anti-theft. Um, you can enable it. We'll have a video on how to enable an anti-theft for ESET and how to set that all up. But for now, we're just going to skip it and take you to your main page. If you had not 32 it would have brought you right to this page here. You can see when your license is activated until, and you can see the update spinning. It's updating right now. Once that's done, your ESET is completely good to go, and you're all set. That's pretty much how you activate ESET, or upgrade from ESET 4 to ESET 6. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at microcentertech.com.